In this video, we will look at the different files available in the IQ4 digital back. We can change the file type by going to Menu, File Settings, and File Format. We can also do this using the shortcut on the home screen by just clicking the file type currently in use. There are several different file types available, which we'll look at in more detail. We have some sample images available to look at. First of all, the IQ 16-bit extended. This is the largest possible file with the least shadow noise available. It is slightly slower to capture, and we would recommend using this when speed is not essential, but the maximum quality is. Next, we have a 16-bit large file. This is slightly quicker to capture and still completely lossless. However, the shadow performance will not be as good as the extended file. Next, we have the 14-bit large file. Because this is a 14-bit file, it allows quicker capture than the 16-bit files and is still completely lossless. Next, 14-bit smart. This file has some lossy compression, however, it is very difficult to tell. These are around 100 megabytes per file and we can shoot up to three frames a second while in this mode. Finally, we have 14-bit sensor plus. This produces a 38 megapixel file. This is generated in the back and will be around the same size as a DSLR file. It has the advantages of being smaller, but still retains all the colors you would expect from a phase one back. As you can see in the examples here, it can be a little bit difficult to tell these apart. We can see the most difference in these files when we start to push the exposure. Here, I will have all the files available and will increase the exposure by four stops. Then, if we zoom into a shadowed area, we can see the difference in the file when this is applied. We can see the files with more data performing better than the smaller files here. We've also included all of these files for download in the video 